Hi artists, it's Miss Lane Hart, your art teacher. Welcome to a new project called Cut Paper Stories. In this project, we're gonna see how we can cut simple abstract shapes of paper and use them to tell a story and how we can think like an artist and we can change the shape, the color, the size, or the space of those little pieces of paper and really change the meaning of our story. To see what we mean by that, let's back up a little bit. Let's watch that little trailer at the beginning of this video again. Let's see what was really going on there. Here's a simple shape, a triangle. Let's imagine that this is the setting for a story. The triangle could symbolize a tree or change the space of the triangle on the page and it could become a deep crack in a cliff or a glacier. Don't fall in. Change the space again and it could be a mountain. Shapes can also be characters in a story. This rectangle could symbolize a person. Add another one and it looks like there are two people in the story. Keep them far apart on the page and it looks like they either are hiding or they haven't met each other yet. Put them close together and it looks like they're friends. Change the size of one of those rectangles and it doesn't look like they're friends anymore. It looks like they're, what do you think? Maybe a parent and a child. That big triangle has changed in space again. Let's see if we can change the space of the characters too and tell a new story. Looks like they walked up a ramp and they're safe at the top. Whoa, not so safe now. Sliding down, it just changed into a slide. One character alone. Moving the triangle makes it become a scary animal. Add a new shape and color and it's really scary. Run away! Change the shapes to more soft and rounded shapes and it's not scary anymore. That triangle becomes a little tree and that little scrap of paper just by putting it into the space of the sky looks like a bird. Change the color of the background from golden yellow to dark blue and our story goes from day to night. So you see artists, we can cut papers into simple shapes to symbolize settings and characters in a story. And we can change the color, shape, size, and space to change the story. Playing with these shapes gave me an idea for a story. And this was the most exciting moment in the story. So this is how I chose to glue my shapes down. I can answer the story questions. Who are the characters in the story? A mom, her kid, an animal that they thought was a scary animal, but turned out to be a friendly dog. What is the setting of the story? The setting is a park. What is the time of day? Well, in this picture, it is in the afternoon, but they stay in the park all day long till night. Okay, it's time for us to get started making some cut paper stories. For our project today, you're going to need a glue stick, and scissors and find your art kit bag and pull out just a couple of things. You'll need the white envelope and you'll need the three big pieces of paper. There's blue, dark blue, and yellow. Pause the video to get these materials ready now. You'll have some great ideas because you have a good imagination. Inside this envelope is a little bit of a starter set for your story. Let's take out the shapes that are in here. Let's first look at this white shape. Just like that big black triangle in the story, this shape could help us with our setting for our story. What could this be? Play with your white shape. Think of lots of things that it can be. Now let's look at those other shapes that were inside of your envelope. You have a big rectangle and a small rectangle and a big circle and a small circle. Hmm. Oh look, put them together and those could symbolize people. 
two different sizes. Who could they be? Let's glue the heads onto the bodies of these characters so that we can play around with them a little bit. I suggest that you make a juicy spot of glue on the top of the rectangle and then set the circle on there. You can kind of push it up a little bit so it looks like a head on shoulders. Do the same with the other one. Pause the video and take a minute to glue your circles on top of your rectangles so that you have two characters. Now it's time to play. You can change the space and change the story. Pieces can be on top or underneath the shape. They can be in front of or behind the shape. You can change the color and see if it changes the time of day. Have fun playing with your pieces. Move them all around and see what kind of story you can think of. You can also do some more cutting. You can change shape if you want. By changing the shape, you might really change the story. You can even take another piece of paper out of your bag if you need another piece of paper to make some more pieces for your story. It's time to choose your favorite picture that you made today, maybe an exciting moment of the story, and glue the pieces down. So you can put glue on the backs, with your glue stick and glue them in place. Remember, today's all about your story, so make sure your pictures are different than mine. Make up your own story. You can make your video showing your picture and answering these story questions. Who are the characters? Where is the setting? And when is your story happening? What time of day? For part two of this project, you'll need the papers that are still in your art kit bag. And you'll also need the two background papers that you didn't use today. Also, any leftover scraps from today's project might be really useful next time too. So scoop those up and put them in your art kit bag along with your glue stick and your scissors. And keep this in a safe place so that you have it to use when you watch the video for lesson number two. I'll see you next time.